Hi, Jason from Motion Caddy here. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this simple transition that you're seeing here. I'm not going to mess about, so let's just jump in and see how this can be created. I already have a composition created here. It's just a 1920 by 1080 composition. You can have yours whatever size you want. And let's begin by grabbing the pen tool to start with. I'm just going to, in our composition window, just going to zoom in. We're going to click once, hold shift on our keyboard, and click again horizontally to the right or left. By holding down shift, we just ensure that it is a perfectly straight line and we don't accidentally have it at a slight angle. So hold shift and it will be a straight line. So we have our straight line, and up here on the stroke, we're just going to increase this quite a bit. We can change the color here. I'm happy with the color it is currently. And what we want this number to be is our composition height. Ours is 1080 currently, but whatever yours is, you need to divide that number by how many lines you want. So in our example, we have four. So this is our composition, 1080 divided by four, which for us here in the example, will be 270. So I know that four of these will cover our composition. If you want five, you will have to divide by five and put the number here. But we just want four. So what we're going to do is go down to our shape layer, contents, shape one, and we want to find our stroke. And under line cap, rather than butt cap, we want this to be round. And there we go. Now we want to go to our path or back to our path. We want to just highlight that first point and hold and shift again while we're dragging, just so we don't move it up and down. We want to make sure it still is horizontal to our other point. Let's just move this all the way to the left here. And again, with this one, let's highlight the right point. Drag this over to our left as well, just so it's off screen here and you can't see it. And create a keyframe for the path. Let's move forward roughly a second. In that same point on the right, let's highlight that again. We want to now, again, hold and shift, move it all the way to the right. Move forward a couple of frames, and we're just going to hit this diamond shape here just to create a new keyframe. These two keyframes are identical. This is just to give it a bit of a pause between animating on and animating off. So let's move forward another second. So that'd be two seconds and three frames or however long we kept between these two. For us, it's one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna go two seconds and five frames. This can be changed later. And here we're going to select the left point, hold shift and drag this all the way to the right. This will automatically create that keyframe. I'm just going to move this along a bit and press N on the keyboard or to drag this in just so that's our out point. I'm just going to play that through to see how it looks. And that is the basics that we're after for now. So what we're going to do now is just add a bit of ease in. I'm going to highlight and right click on that first keyframe, keyframe assistant, easy ease out. Then I'm going to highlight the end keyframe Right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease in. Then click this button here to bring up our graph editor. If yours doesn't look like this, you might not be in the correct um, window. You just need to make sure that you have the edit speed graph selected. So the second button in, edit speed graph. Let's select that first point again and just drag this in, just like this. Select that last frame and drag this in here just so it looks roughly like this. You can say it looks a bit like um, Batman. Do not touch these two in the middle. We want these to be left as they are. Play this through. And there we go, that's not too bad. You can play with these. You can even, if you wanted to have it quicker or slower, you can tighten these all up or spread them out. Or if you want it to hold less in the middle, you can just bring these two in or out. But I'm going to leave them as they are and we can always adjust them later. So what we're going to do now is click on our layer, press P to bring up our position. Let's go to drag this all the way up 
just so it touches the top of our composition. So roughly there. Again, we can change this later. Click on our layer and then, and then holding control or command, we're going to press D to duplicate or we can go up to edit, duplicate. Just to make a second layer, select that second layer, press P. Let's just move this down just so it is touching the bottom of that first layer, like that. And again, let's duplicate that second layer, press P, and again, move it down just so it's touching that third layer or second layer, I should say. One final time, duplicate, press P, and if we've done our maths correctly at the start, this should now fill in that final space. Bring it down, turn a bit more, and there we go. Our composition is now completely filled, which is what we want. If you still have a bit of a gap, you may have done your maths wrong, or what you can do, highlight all your layers, and just increase your stroke slightly, just to fill in any slight gaps there might be. And if I was to play this now, you'll see that all four move at the same time which is almost there, but not quite what we want. We want these to be staggered slightly. So I'm just going to collapse these. I can see that these layers are in the correct, incorrect order. So I'm just going to grab our shape layer one, bring that to the top. That is correct there, three, and no, that should be there. Okay, it isn't necessary that you have these in the correct order, but just for ease of ordering, it's nice to just make sure that from top to bottom, or even bottom to top, you have these layers in the correct order. So if I was to click on each one, you'll see them down here, select in the correct order. And now I'm just going to drag our playhead to the start. We want this layer to be where it is. But if we move forward three frames, one, two, three, select our second layer, and then either press open square bracket or drag that layer to there. Move forward another three then drag our third layer, move forward another three and move our final layer. And then let's play this. And there we go, that is our transition. But if I was to now grab this uh, build example, and drag it into a new layer, here's our transition. And now we can bring in our footage and then move forwards in our composition until we are completely obscured that footage. And then hold an Alt or Option, press the close square bracket. So that layer is cut off there. And then we can bring in our, bring in our second footage, and have it start at that point. So now if I play this through, we have a nice transition between our two clips. And that is how easy it is to create this transition. I hope you enjoyed and found this useful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.